Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another pin box opening video. We are here for the month of March 2024 already. I honestly cannot believe that we are three months into this uh, see well, I was about to say season, but into this year already. Uh, opening day is just around the corner. I am excited for that. I hope you guys are too. I think on the 28th, I will actually be going to the uh, Royals opening day. Never done an actual opening day before, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Been to uh, the second game of the season. I did that last year. But uh, this upcoming, gonna be looking uh, pretty excited. I really am. Um, and it appears that we've got quite a few packs of cards here this year, or this month. Um, typically we get eight. Uh, this seems like uh, quite a few more. So, <clears throat> we got our pin packs over here. Keep those till the end. We got Heritage uh, 2023 right up here. We got Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. We got two of those. Um, probably the most expensive card I've ever pulled came out of one of those. Um, Update Series 2023. Uh, Select from 2023. Bowman from 2023. Chrome, or not Chrome. Uh, top Stadium, uh, Stadium Club, two of those. I always love Stadium Club. I'm a huge fan of those. Uh, series two, we've got two packs of that and a 2024 uh, Series one. So we've got quite a bit here. What is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven packs in this one. This will be a nice little. Um, I guess really, I, I would consider this an opening day month pack. Um, extravaganza maybe I don't know but uh, we got a lot here but yeah most expensive card I pulled came out of Topps Platinum Anniversary here it was the Mickey Mantle short print uh, about a $450 card so maybe we'll get lucky on that again other than that I've had no luck in that series but hey you never know um, we're gonna start with Heritage and then I'd say we'll go into the, the Chrome then Select uh, I want to say Bowman, probably Stadium Club for last, just because I really do enjoy those uh, releases. Bowman, I just, I never see on the shelf anymore, so this is kind of the only place I get Bowman. All right, we got a Peyton Battenfield rookie. Uh, Mazataka Yoshida rookie, that's a pretty good one. Zach Grinke went, what, 1-16 last year, still a free agent. We'll see if he comes back. Estrui. Ruiz, Speedster, rookie card. Uh, Brian Reynolds and O'Neal Cruz. I like that one. Freddie Peralta. Taylor Rogers. Mark Mathias. Mathias. And a Reese McGuire. All right. The Yoshi, uh, Mazataka. I'll put that one on the top here. We'll put that there. That was a, that's a pretty solid card. Ruiz, I like him just because of his speed. I don't really think there's much of any... Uh, value to any of his cards but hey i like stolen base guys <clears throat> so this was 2021 so this is the oldest pack that we're going to open up today all right aristides aquino he really disappeared had that what seven game streak and then just nothing uh anderson tejada rookie card we got a Bobby Dahlback rookie card. That's not a bad one. He's not been great, but he's not been bad. And Roel Ramirez rookie. So we got three rookies there. Bobby Dahlback, I'll still put down here. He was still, I think he's still got some good potential. All right, let's see what we got here in this next one. Yeah, hopefully y'all are having a good good uh, month so far. I guess we're only, what, three days in, four days in? But, uh, you know, it's never too early to wish for a good month. Uh, we got Ken Griffey Sr. leading us off. We got a rainbow refractor coming up here in the end. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a Jordan Alvarez. I would flip it, but it's just the one card, so we'll do it that way. Bucky Dent. And then a Michael Conforto uh, rainbow refractor. No rookies in that pack. All right, top select coming up next. Uh, this is a, it's pretty thick, honestly. We'll see. 
Now, last month we did have three autographs pulled. Uh, probably the highest draft pick auto that I've had, which was a second overall pick, uh, Jack Leiter with the Texas Rangers. So that one was a good one. Let's see what we've got here in this one. I'm hoping it's not a spacer, but it very well could be. I haven't opened up any select from this year, so I don't know. Reggie Crawford, leading off. Uh, Tomoyaki Sagano. Sagon Sagano. I'm going to say Sagano. Um, I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Probably not, but hey, who, who knows? Brandon Baraya. Let's see what we got there. Is that numbered? Out of 149. Number three out of 149. So we'll put that down there. We got a nice numbered card out of that. We've got Marcelo Mayer. Pretty nice one there. Fourth overall pick. And it does look like we've got, uh, it's just an insert card. Honestly, I thought this was a part of what is going to be a spacer, unfortunately. I thought it was a part of that, and I was like, oh my, look at what we got, something good. But nope, just a spacer and a Harold Barnes. Baines, excuse me. He's a Hall of Famer. I should probably get his name right, but they had a thick-ass piece of cardboard. Kind of disappointing, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, we'll go Series 2. Honestly, I don't think I opened up a single pack of Series 2 in 2023. I could be wrong. We could have done it in one of these boxes, but I definitely didn't buy any. So I have no idea who the rookies are in this. So we'll see what we got. Sean Manaya leading us off. AL heavy hitters with heavy hitters, <laughs> hitters with Vlad Jr. and Trout. Chris Bubich. Mackenzie Gore, Future Stars. Jose Urakiti. Will Smith. MJ Melendez, a really down year. Uh, Avesel Garcia, Ezekiel Tovar, rookie card. That's not a bad one. He had a pretty decent year. Cody Bellinger, uh, 35th anniversary stamp. I don't think those will be numbered at all. They are not. Uh, Nico Horner, Carlos Santana, Detroit Tigers, and Oakland Athletics. Nothing crazy out of that one. We got one more of them. Who do you guys got in the uh, World Series this year? I think it's hard to go against the Dodgers at this point, between the Dodgers and Braves. I think those are the two, two easy picks. Um, I want the Rays, obviously, for bias reasons, but, you know. Um, I'm going to say the Orioles out of the American League, and I'm going to go... Mm, I feel like the Dodgers is going to get injures, injuries. Uh, I'm still going to go Dodgers. I just think that team is too stacked. So I'm going to go Orioles and Dodgers. I think the Dodgers win it, but I'd like to see the Orioles win it out of those two. <laughs> Even as somebody that's a Dodger fan, too. Uh, Luke Voigt, Chad Noll. I just I think the Orioles are going to be a very big uh, issue for the Rays uh, in the NL East and just the A. Uh, excuse me, the AL East and just the AL in general. Uh, Joey Menses, a rookie gold cup card. Really old rookie. He's already 30 years old. Uh, Alexis Diaz, gold cup. Wilmer Flores, uh, Moriel and Velasquez. Hey, whoa, we got a, uh, a relic here. Is it a relic auto? Just a relic? What do we got? What do we got? David Ortiz, big poppy. That's a pretty cool one right there. Very nice. Hey, maybe I should have got some Series 2 stuff. Well, we'll put that there. I, I, it's been a while since we got a relic. I feel like a couple months at least. Eloy Jimenez, Carlo, uh, Colorado Rockies, New York Yankees, and a World Series worthy menial infield of uh, Jeremy Pena and Jose Altuve. That's a pretty cool pick right there. David Ortiz. I remember back in the day, I had a uh, David Ortiz Twins rookie card, and I got rid of it. No idea where it went. I wasn't really paying attention as a kid. Kind of wish I still had that card. Probably would be worth quite a bit right now. Uh, we'll go update. I think update, then Series 1, then Stadium Club, and then Bowman. I think that's how we'll do it. I do love Stadium Club so much. 
It's probably the, it's the only product I've ever pulled a one of one out of, like an actual one of one. I've bought one of ones, I've done a bunch of stuff like that, but the only one that I pulled was a Hideki Matsui one of one. Not an auto, not a relic or anything like that. Just a normal one of one. Rainbow foil. Uh, Caleb Thilbar. Dominic Fletcher rookie card. Noah Syndergaard. I think he's had a baseball at this point. Nick Fortes. Ken Lane Jansen. Nick Martinez. Bobby Miller rookie. I'm going to put that one up here. I like Bobby Miller. I think he's going to be really good. Uh, Luis Guillermo. Colin O. Perez. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Jerks and Profar, former number one overall prospect. And a in-laws face off in the Brinks. Bronx. Brinks. Bronx. Uh, Brandon Crawford and Rizzo, maybe? Garrett Cole. Hmm. All right. So not much out of that one. Um, so far, recap, we got a pretty decent couple of rookies. Numbered card, relic card. Top series one. Here we go. Saw Cunha had uh, hurt his knee. His meniscus, it looked like. Let's see what happened there. Um, could be a bit of a blow for the uh, the old Braves. I do really like the... Uh, I just like this design. Like, that's a really nice looking card. I'm not even a, really a Fernando Tatis fan, but that's a pretty cool card right there. Fernando Tatis Jr. Marco Luciano. That's a good one. I'll put him down. Matt Manning. Ryan Jeffers. Matt McLean. Really like that guy. Hope he does good. Mitch Keller. That's a nice looking card there, too. Uh, Hunter Brown. Future Stars card. Jose Ferrer. 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 Mickey Moniak. Walker Bueller. Colton Kowser. That's a good one. I'll take that. And a gold, at least I'm uh, assuming it's gold, Seattle Mariners card. Is that numbered? It is numbered out of 2024. I didn't think that the last card of the pack would be numbered. That's interesting. Um, so I did buy one hanger box of this, 2021, or excuse me, 2024. And uh, I pulled a, out of uh, 2024 as well. There's a tile of glass now. Um, so, both times I've opened a pack of that, I've got a numbered card. Heck of a lot better odds than uh, what they used to be, I'll say that. Only all crews poking out of the back here. Oh, That's the one thing I don't like about Stadium Club, is that they go every which way. Alright, we got a Hank Aaron leading us out. That's a pretty cool card. Is that, is that an All-Star Game card? I think that might be the All-Star Game. Uh, Brady Singer. I'm hoping he has a really big year this year. I'm still a huge fan of Brady Singer. Uh, Will Clark. Cedric Mullins. Shane Bieber. We got a Jacob deGrom. Uh, color. Lack of color card, I guess. I don't know. Are those numbered? Nope. I don't see a number. Maybe you guys do. I don't see one. Probably not. They have so many different variations in these. Cade Cavalli, rookie, and O'Neill Cruz. I just like those. Look at that photo. That's a pretty good photo. All right, we got one more stadium club. We got another pirate on the back here. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that uh, didn't cut anything out. The low battery sign just came on on the, uh, on the deal here, so... Come on. All right. So we got an Alex Rodriguez leading us off. Nolan Gorman. Uh, rookie card. I got this numbered out of, what, 199? Um, in a, one of these packs earlier, a couple, couple months ago. We've got Matt Walner, rookie. Alex Verdugo. Interesting looking shirt there. Um, interesting. Uh, Tops Chrome. Stadium Chrome. Bobby Witt Jr. New, what, close to $300 million man. Not numbered or anything, but it is a Chrome. So I'll still put that down. It's a pretty cool card. Joey Mensa's rookie card. Luis Robert and the Willie Stargell. That's 
Pretty cool card right there. I like those hats. All right. We're back into Bowman. We got Bowman, then our thank you packs. Again, I hope everybody's had a good one. Uh, let me know who you think down below is going to be in the old World Series. Maybe I'm an idiot for picking who I picked, but I'm going with them. We got Francisco Lindor leading us off. Garrett Mitchell, rookie. I do like Garrett Mitchell. I'll put him down. Uh, Nolan Gorman. Man, a bunch of Nolan Gormans. I hope he does something really good. Uh, Vlad Guerrero. Michael Harris. That's a good one. Put him down. Rafael Devers. We got a Francisco Alvarez. Uh, rookie card here. <clears throat> rookie of the year favorites. Bowman Chrome card for him. Pretty cool. I'll put it down. James Wood, prospect. Vincent Perozo, first Bowman. Marcelo Mayer. Let me see where Perozo signed as a free agent. I was hoping, you know, like, hey, maybe he was like the number one overall pick or something. Obviously, he wouldn't. That'd be Paul Skines and uh, uh, Dylan Cruz and Max Clark and those guys. But uh, Chase DeLauter and Manuel Beltre. Chrome cards to finish us off. All right, let's go with our. Uh, that one will contain a hit. We'll go with this one here. Last month I had some issues opening these. Um, I guess I just pulled apart a piece of the top of this one. I don't know what it is, but I have some issues with these, uh, these black uh, black holders. We got a Topps Chrome update series. Oh, yeah. 2023. Who's on the cover of this thing? It, what is that, Jordan Walker? I mean, it looks like Jordan Walker. I honestly have no idea. I know it's Acuna. I couldn't tell you who the other guy is. I'm, not, I'm just going to say it's Jordan Walker and go with it. I didn't buy a single box of these. Uh, Brandon Shoemake. Rookie card. Rich Hill. Aaron Judge. Titans card. And a Johnny Brito. Is the Titans card something big? I don't know. I honestly have no idea when it comes to uh, uh, inserts. I'll put it down, though. It is pretty cool. Is it like the downtown kind of thing with the uh, NFL? I don't even buy NFL, but I know that those are something rare. Uh, I feel like it's been a long video. hope you all aren't too tired of hearing me talk. dropped a pack of cards. Well, that's not what you want to hear or see. Oh, good guy. Ugh. Well, hopefully nothing got damaged. That would suck. All right. All right, make sure I got everything out. We are clear. We got a Jaren Duran starting us off. Rookie card. Walker Bueller rookie. That's a nice one. I like Walker Bueller. Max Freed rookie. Another nice one. And, and a uh, Sherry Ann Newton auto card. I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with Sherry Ann Newton. It's an interesting name. I will give him that. 2019 at a Bowman's Best. So we do get an auto. That's a pretty interesting auto there, too. That is interesting. It is on card, too. So those are always good. I do like on card autos. We get a Hall of Fame relic, two numbered cards, autograph. Eh, maybe something with the Aaron Judge. I have no idea. But I hope you guys had a good time watching. I had a good time making it. Had some nice rookies, too. Again, about 90 bucks, 93 bucks or so after uh, taxes. If you are interested, go to thepinbox.com. I'll see y'all again. Have a good night.